Now that we have the software open, we can go ahead and open our spectra that we'd like to look at. We'll start with unknown A. From here, we're going to start with a baseline correction. We can click error down here and click baseline correction. We can do a multi-point correction. Um, assuming that this is not already selected for you, you can select multi-point here and then add. And then we're going to select a few points that should be at the baseline. Now that we've selected a few points at the baseline, we're going to hit escape on the keyboard, and now we can click calculate. You can see that this spectra has been corrected to the baseline, and from here, we can actually go ahead and pick our peaks. So we'll select peak pick, and then you can either um, just select automatic peak picking by setting the threshold for the minimum absorption values you'd like to select. We have a few peaks below the 0.1 absorption, so we can change our threshold here to 0.05, and then we can go ahead and hit calculate. So we can see here that we have all of our desired points chosen, but we are still missing a few points, so if you did want to add any peaks in here, you can always select add peak and then you can just click on whichever peak you'd actually like to add. So now that we've added every peak that we really would like to, we can go ahead and hit OK. And now this will save our baseline corrected spectra file with the selected peaks. From here, we might want to go ahead and actually do a search for our standard. So we'll do a spectrum search. And based on the unknowns that we have, we can look through and try and identify which spectra this might be. When we look at the spectras, we first can check PET. And when we select through some of these scans, we notice that this first scan is quite close. And to see if it actually overlays well, we can click Join. When we click Join here, we can see that there's a very good overlap here and that for the most part, these match. So we can therefore say that our first unknown A is PET. Now that we're done here and we've identified our first unknown, we can exit out of the software. Do not save any of the changes. And then from here, we can go ahead and open Know-It-All. We're gonna go ahead and select in ID Expert, or you can select after you select ID Expert, you can open your software. Another option would be going into File, Open Spectrum. Either will work. From here, you have the option you can select Fix here, and it'll fix the baseline correction and clean up some of this noise a little bit. This is optional. From here, you can go ahead and select Functional Groups, and depending on your spec your structure that you identified in the previous steps you can then click through and see if your functional groups that you think are there are actually there